Hey, today I wanna to take you through six crucial patterns or shapes on the bass guitar that create great, great bass lines. I'll see you inside the video. Hey, it's James here from eBass Guitar. And one of the fantastic things about the bass guitar, it is a pattern orientated instrument. And the great thing about learning these patterns on the bass guitar is it can open up so many creative opportunities. So today I'm gonna to take a legendary 70s jazz funk tune called Mr. Magic, which has a great, great chord sequence over it and show you how these six patterns work and how you can learn them. So just before we hit the lesson content, I want you to know there's a completely free PDF which you can grab which will show you the patterns written out in fretboard diagrams and the chord sequence to Mr. Magic so you can try this at home. It'll also show you which pattern I'm using when on the chord sequence. You can grab your copy by clicking the link in the description below. So first of all let's get going and I'll play you through the 18 bar chord sequence to Mr. Magic and put the fretboard diagrams I'm using on each particular bar up on the screen too. Let's go. So the first thing I want to do is talk you through the 18 bar chord sequence that I'm playing, which the melody works over. So this is simply a bar of C minor 7, a bar of F7, a bar of B flat 7 with a sus chord on the end of it, and then a bar of C minor 7. Then we have two chord changes per bar, which is B minor 7 to E flat 7, A flat major 7 to G7, and then we go back to a bar of C minor 7, then to a bar of F7. So that's the first eight bars. Then we go into the second section and we go to a bar of E flat major seven, to a bar of A flat major seven, another bar of E flat major seven, to another bar of A major seven, another bar of E major seven, and then we hit this G7 chord, which is kind of the end of the sequence, but then we have four bars to turn it around again. And we simply play a bar of C minor seven, a bar of F7, a bar of C minor seven, and then a bar of F7. So if you're just starting out with this chord sequence, what I would do is simply play roots on the bar going dum dum gung, bum bum bum, gum So let me demonstrate that first of all with the backing track because that will give you the root notes and get you comfortable where those chords fall on the fretboard. I'll show you over the first eight bars or so so you can hear it in action. Now I'm going to talk you through the six patterns that I'm using. I'm using them over very specific bars which will be labelled up in the PDF that comes with this lesson. But the great thing is once you get to know these patterns you can start interchanging them around and mixing them up. So pattern number one and this is a really logical place to start. For the C minor chord on bar one we are going to use the minor pentatonic shape which is C, E flat, F, G, B flat, C, E flat, F. So one, four, one, three, one, three, one, three. Now let's move on to the second bar and the second shape we are using. 
Now this is based upon the box shape with an added note. And this is a shape that works really well over seventh chords and or dominant chords. So the box shape is this on an F, which is F, uh, C, E flat, F. But I'm adding an extra noting because it falls really nicely under the fingers. So I'm got, this is the box shape plus four. So this is F and then to a B flat, C, E flat, F. So you can end up with these really nice. Really nice bass lines like that. Now for bar three, simply move that same shape to a B flat at fret six. And then the C minor, we're gonna go back to the first pattern. So the two shapes. Now we're gonna move on to the third third shape here. Now in bars five and six we have two chords per bar which is a B flat minor seven to an E flat, A flat seven to a G and the second of those chords are pushed before the beat like bum, dum, bum, dum. and when you've got chords that are moving quickly one of the best patterns to use on the instrument is root five eight which sits directly under the hand. So I'll do that again like so. And this is a great pattern that you can move through the chords. Boom. So this is great if you've got fast moving chords. Now for the set last next two bars, which is a C minor seven to an F, we're gonna use the first pattern again, the minor pentatonic. And then to the F7, the box shape plus four. So to recap at this point, we have three shapes, the minor pentatonic, the box shape plus four, and then the root five eight shape. Now let's move on to the fourth crucial pattern here. Now this is a pattern that works brilliantly over major seven chords and it has a beautiful melodic quality to it. So when we hit the E flat major seven shape, we play this. So that is root fifth major seven and octave. So over an E flat chord, that is E flat, B flat, D and E flat. And this gives you a really nice fretboard pattern which says So let's move on to the next shape once you've got that down, for shape number five. Now this is called the major pentatonic forward position and this is another beautiful melodic shape or pattern on the fretboard which works really well over major chords. So what this is, is... So that is the shape there. So what I want you to do is put a first finger on it. So we're going to go A flat to B flat, slide forward and then the C under the third finger, and then onto the next string, we have the E flat, we have the F, and then we have the A flat. So we have the E flat chord to the A flat. And so we repeat that pattern twice, E flat to A flat, E flat to A flat, using shapes four and five respectively. Then we have another bar of E flat major seven, use shape four. Then I want you to use our final shape here, which is shape six. And I call this one the funk scale. So what I want you to do is over the G seventh chord, put a G on a second finger and then play this pattern. So it's G, B flat, so B natural, C, C sharp, D. So we have this chromatic shape. And then go to the F, F sharp, G. So this is often called the funk scale. And this funk scale works really well over seventh and dominant chords. So now we have all six shapes. Now to use the funk scale a little bit more. In the last four bars, what I want you to do over the C minor seven is use the original minor pentatonic shape, shape one. Like 
so. And you can add those two notes in at the top as well. Like so. And then for the F7 chord, is use that funk scale but in F, because you can move all of these shapes all over the fingerboard to the respective chords. So we have two bars of C minor, we have a bar of C minor seven, a bar of F seven, and then we repeat that pattern again, a bar of C minor seven, and then a bar of F seven. Now we have our six crucial fretboard patterns. I'd like to ask you if you are enjoying this lesson and you're getting a lot from it, please hit the like button, which is somewhere around this video, and subscribe to the eBay's Guitar YouTube channel. If you subscribe to the channel, you'll be the first to know when a new lesson goes live. We release a lesson every single week on the eBay's Guitar YouTube channel. So make sure you hit that red subscribe button, which is somewhere around this video. So let's just recap the patterns, and then we will jam on this chord sequence. So pattern number one, the minor pentatonic shape. Pattern two, the box shape plus four. Pattern number three, root five eight. And then pattern number four, the major seven shape. And then pattern number five, major pentatonic forward shape. And then pattern number six, the funk scale. Now I want you to start jamming on this. In the PDF, just to make this really clear, I'm gonna put which scale, or pattern rather, I'm using over which particular bar to make it really clear. When you're playing these patterns, just experiment and have fun. Explore the notes and how they fall under your hand, and then you will start creating your own ideas from these, using the patterns as they fall on the fretboard. I'm gonna play it twice through now, First time I'm gonna play it with each pattern on each respective bar as written in the PDF. Then I'm gonna break out and have a little bit of fun with this. Guys, that's the end of this lesson. Please explore, have some fun with these six crucial fretboard patterns because they will open up so many ways to play over different chords. Now, if you'd like the backing track which goes with this lesson, this is available to free for Bass Lab Plus members over at ebassguitar.com. Now, speaking of the Bass Lab Plus, if you're looking to really improve your bass guitar playing right from the word go, if you're a new player just starting out, or you're 
you're an intermediate player or returning player looking to take your base playing up to that advanced level, we've got you covered over in the Base Map Plus membership. There's a full step-by-step -step syllabus which I would love you to check out and take for a test drive. Talking about a test drive, you can take all of the Base Lab Plus content for a test drive completely free for 14 days using the link which is in the description below. Cheers, I've been James from ebassguitar.com and I'll catch you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.